Branch chains are good, your hembine's good. Branch chains won't fuck up your hembine. And if you're not hypochloric, it means fuck all anyway. I'ma post a lot and hope to God the motion. I believe I'm provoking, there's no facade. I'm poking art. A joke is the broke the guard to open an overflow of hopeless artists. I wanna fill up the culture with flow the scar is so distraught. It's close to the bro in office. Only thought to show you the road to solve it. It's taking a little moment to show the problem. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, alongside... Katie Lobliner. All right, man. So this comes from the Facebook group. It is Facebook.com. That's it. And then you type in Tiger Fitness group, group. <laughs> in the search function, or you can just click on the link down below. I um, This guy, Brendan, you get... I want to see his name, damn it, woman. Why you got to be so controlling? So what happened to Tina with Ike, man. So anyway, this one comes from uh, these young kids don't even know who the hell Tina Turner is. Brendan Smith. Brendan Smith. Brendan S. Brendan Smith. Brendan S. It's just the dog. <laughs> Can we take BCAA with Yohimbi? Since anything that spikes or has a effect on insulin negates the effectiveness of Yohimbi. How do you say it? Yohimbi or Yohimbi? Yohimbi. 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 Will BCAA or the sweetener in it do the same? Oh, uh, Brandon, you get to make me go all science and shit on your ass. <laughs> Number one, insulin is not a black and white issue. Insulin can be spiked very high. Insulin can have little spikes. A spike in insulin isn't a spike in insulin. Your insulin will not be like this, unless you're completely fasted, and let's be real, who the fuck wants to be completely fasted? So you gotta look at it, it's not gonna negate the effectiveness of, BC, of, um, of your hembine if you do have an insulin spike, but let me explain to you why it's not an issue even if it is. Now, BCAA, or protein in general, it causes an acute spike in insulin, not a biphasic spike in insulin. When you eat a carbohydrate, your body does something like this. So here's your insulin level. It spikes and then it spikes again. It's a biphasic insulin response. Two now, phases. so there's two biphasic, two uh -huh. phases. <laughs> so if you eat a branched chain amino acid, it just has just a little intrinsic acute spike which is not enough to negate anything, and it's not a huge insulin spike. In fact, I would argue that spike is there to make sure that your body's able to uptake and utilize those amino acids for what their intended purpose in nature is, which is, well, obviously survival, because amino acids are essential. So you need to, first of all, realize that an insulin spike isn't an insulin, and isn't an insulin spike. There, you, it's not just like one concrete word. It's a very fluid term. So when you, what I would recommend you do is sweetener is not going to spike your insulin in any level. Again, if it's non-caloric, non-nutritive, if you're talking sucralose, if you're looking at machine fuel, which is a non-caloric, it has some calories from BCA, but we're not allowed to list them because FDA says there are no calories. But intrinsically, and there's not four, it's not the same as a protein. I think it's like 2.2 .2 or something. It's some, some, some amount of calories per gram, but it's not a big deal because it's fixed in your diet. What I usually recommend people do is when you wake up, I like to have my morning shake where I have 32 ounces of water with ambrosia nectar, with machine greens, with peak physicor, and then I throw in one to two scoops of machine fuel before I do my hill sprints. And the reason being, you've just fasted for a long time. I want to see you, you know, basically, I, I want to be able to also realize that valine competes with tryptophan in the brain. So by having that valine, which is a, which is in machine fuel as one of the three branched amino acids, I'm also gonna help, you know, delay fatigue, which is something I want because sprints are really fucking hard. So I wanna have those branched chain in my system also kick me out of the fact that I've been fasting um, since I went to sleep. And I like to do that. I don't like to do things completely fasted. I always like to have aminos, but I also take Yohimbine. So what I do is I take that Yohimbine with my morning shake with my BCAA, knowing that, you know what, just because I have a little intrinsic immediate spike of the insulin, it's not gonna do anything to negate the effectiveness of Yohimbine. Yohimbine will still, uh, still have its effectiveness. Now, if you were to take Yohimbine eating a donut or a cream puff, yeah, fat and carbs are going to cause a <laughs> tremendous, saturated fat and, carb, and processed carbohydrates are going to cause a tremendous increase in insulin. And it's basically, you're going to wipe that shit out with the fact you just ate 10,000 calories in fucking cream puffs. <laughs> so bottom line is, Brendan, first of all, enjoy that way. I'm going to email, I'm going to DM you, you know, obviously look for that. But just realize that 
it will not have a negative effect on the effectiveness of your hembine. But the best time to take it is on an as empty of a stomach, as little insulin as possible. But I think the advantages to having branch chain aminos in your system um, will outweigh the slight, perhaps very slight, negative effect it has on the effectiveness of your hembine. But at the end of the day, what does your hembine do? It doesn't really increase your calorie burning. It helps your body liberate. Um, it does a little bit. I mean, you can argue it. It helps your body liberate fatty acids from trouble areas. For women, that's your ass and your hips. For men, that's your lower abs and your back and your love handles and all that shit uh, because of the receptors in those body parts. I'm trying to make this where everybody can understand it because there's different receptors in those, where, in those body parts that makes you store that fat. So at the end of the day, whether you're eating branch chains or insulin or whatever, those will help liberate those fatty acid stores. But at the end of the day, nothing works unless you do and supplements substitute, they don't substitute. Sub supplements supplement, they don't substitute. Okay, so you supplement with supplements, you don't expect them to replace something you're missing. You still need to diet in a hypocaloric state in order to lose that fat. So let's not, let's, let's not see, you know, you gotta see the forest through the trees, right? So don't look acute. Is your diet in place enough for your hembine even to make a fucking difference? Mm. So if you're not hypocaloric, it means fuck all anyway. And if you're looking for a good diet, I have a book, dropfactorbook.com. I have everything here, man. Anyway, Katie, anything you wanna add to this? Because- That um, is way beyond my scope of knowledge. I kept it that. really fucking simple. Yeah, I listened to you explain it, but I have nothing to add. I I've never actually explained about, that to her. I know nothing about brand change and the effects with yo and me, so. So here, here's Sorry. like here's our relationship in a nutshell. I usually I'm so I, I love what I do so much that I'll go over training and supplement like shit, <laughs> and like she'll be like, yeah, mm, that's great, and I've probably rambled about that before, and she probably just like just like when she's talking about like different window blinds and furniture oh, yeah, and shit. Yeah, I talk about that all the time. You talk about shit I just don't care about sometimes, like the kids. Like who the fuck cares about them? Right? She talks about different things that I don't care about, like her feelings, emotions. Like, fuck that, man. Just shut up and fucking cook something. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> and the video's over. <laughs> All right, guys. Basically, don't... don't the, the, the summation of this is... Branch chains are good. Your hembine's good. Branch chains won't fuck up your hembine. And if you're not hypocaloric, it means fuck all anyway. That's not a game.